Hey guys, um, I'm gonna show you how to connect uh, WAMP database with uh, Ruby on Rails. All right, uh, my Rails should be working. My Rails server is working for this. Watch. What? There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. This is a database. Uh, first create a new database. Name it like anything. I need. I created mine in test. Um, I call this tests. So yeah, it's tests. And then you uh, open the. What file is this? Don't worry about that. You go to um, your s your directory, uh, where you uh, installed your uh, thing. Mine's called example. My app. So app. Um. Yeah. I got all of this. Make sure it's on though. Make sure this is on, like it's green. Uh, my server is working, so right here, this is my database. Um, you gotta edit, since I'm in examples, there, it should be on the config file. Config, and then it should be this one. Open it. And then your pass, your user, username, password, this, it's on localhost. Um, MySQL 2 and my dash is called tests. No password, whatever. This for development. If you have one, then just create one. The command is Rails new, and then whatever your project name name is. Mine was example. Um, whatever directory I put mine on um, under my username directory on Windows, so it's uh, Rails new. Example D MySQL that'll be that. See Database called test. I'm gonna try to check test S. I try that one too. And then to run the server, it's Rails S. has to be in this folder. Make sure it's in your app folder or Ruby is not going to work. Sorry about that. Rails S. And then local host 2000. What the heck? There it goes. It works. Bam. Um, I'm going to break it on purpose now. So I'm going to control C. Yeah, take it out of the server. I want to break it on possible. I'm gonna comment it out. Watch, it's, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's dead. Server's dead. All right, we're gonna Rails S. It's gonna be broken. Watch. Mm, sorry about that. Still works. Interesting. Still works. Well, I'm a server enabled, so it's probably connecting one of them. I'm not 
washer. Uh, whatever. I'll use test. I'll connect it. It's all good. It's working right now. So yeah. So basically, you would just uh, go to WAM. Install the server. You don't need to install the other web server. You just install it, and then basically you also run PHP script on the www. Uh, this one, just a different one. Just local host. Not without the 3000. 3000 is the. So. I have several machines. Um, get out of this. Um, yeah, that's about it. It's not that difficult. You don't need to install some crazy MySQL thing. I got it working, so get out of this. Control C. Yeah. And I'm done. See ya.